Hey guys, Joshua Crawford coming back to you live to check out this new trailer, uh, Black Widow, special look. It just came out a few minutes ago this morning, so I'm glad I got the chance to check it to see this before I went to bed. So let's take a look and see how this thing goes. Natasha, my sister, after all this time, what brings you home? I was trying to do something good. Civil war. You need more than just a train killer. You're fooling yourself. We are still both train killers. Titan is being a soldier vibe. Unfinished business. Who's we? Ooh. I'm talking about. Red Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new world of widows. A little. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> running for my past. Oh, so that's a shit. Okay. Hmm. Nice cool yard. Who is that guy? Definitely special. Nice. Nice. Liking this. Okay, so um, if none of y'all know who Taskmaster is, basically he's a copycat. He has the ability to copy everyone's moves from their peak. I mean, Taskmaster is a true, true anti-hero and villain because I'm telling you, anybody who fights him, well, he will learn everybody's moves and he can take them down with their own special techniques. So Black Widow, this is the perfect villain for him. And this is great. And... I like when Red Guardian broke that guy's hand when he tried to keep him from escaping whatever he's being held at. And you saw a little potential Red Guardian strength. So you gonna already know how he is when he goes against, against Taskmaster. That's going to be a scene. So earlier, if you saw my uh, reaction, I thought that S.H.I.E.L.D. belonged to Red Guardian. But it actually belongs to Taskmaster now, now that I see. So the question is, where's Red Guardian's S.H.I.E.L.D.? So that's going to be the question. So I guess we'll have to wait further in other trailers reveal closer to the coming of the movie to find out what that is so um as you saw at the beginning her sister is asking where are you why are you here if you've seen the end of captain america civil war black will portrays team iron man and lets black uh, let me let captain america and bucky get away so t'challa told ross what she did so now they're coming for her so that's the reaction so i guess they're gonna stop it start it from the beginning when they showcase the movie about her running on a run from the Sokovia Accords and Jenna Ross. Because after she let Cap and Bucky go, they're after her now. She's a traitor. So she retreats to ask her own country to as a hideout. So I'm liking this. It's a good Captain America Winter Soldier vibe. I mean, the House of Black Widows. I mean, the whole team that trained her, she probably won't have to take them out. Or probably they're working with Taskmaster. That could be the case. And why the Black Widows are going to come after her. So I think that might be the case, or it could be the in reverse. The Black Widows are helping her to tie, stop Taskmaster. That could be the case. But kind of like similar in Civil War when Bucky said, I'm not the only Winter Soldier, and you saw all the Winter Soldiers being trained, who are even stronger than Bucky. So I'm liking how they're writing this. This is really good writing. I know it will live up to my expectations as Captain America and the Winter Soldier, so this will really do it. But i just excited to see this because Black Widow been wanting this solo film since Iron Man 2 so over 10 years over a decade and we finally got it so I'm anxious to see this so let me know what you think at the bottom so I can talk more about it because I'm excited to see a solo Black Widow 